Standard 6, Subject Maths, Chapter 7, Symmetry, Practice Set 20. Students, today let us learn about symmetry. Try this. Take a paper and fold it so that it gets divided into two equal parts. And then open the fold, that is unfold it. Now, Make a blob of color on one of the parts, that is on one side of the fold. Just apply some color, water color or tube colors if you have. One or two or three, depends. Say blue, green, yellow, three colors you can take and just apply it. And fold the paper again and press it a little. Now unfold it. What do you see? You will see some design formed on both the sides of the fold, right? The shape obtained is symmetrical about the line of the fold. You will see that the shape that is obtained on both the sides of the fold on left and right side is at the same distance as on left. You will see the same distances as on right and the shape also will be similar. Okay, a mirror image. So such images are said to be images of Symmetry, symmetrical figures. Alright. Think about it. Do you recognize this picture? Why do you think the letters written on the front of the vehicle are written the way they are? Copy them on a paper. Hold the paper in front of a mirror and read it. Do you see letters written like this anywhere, anywhere else? Let's have a look at the solution. The name written in reverse alphabets on the vehicle reads as ambulance when viewed in the mirror. In the case of an emergency, it helps a driver to quickly notice an ambulance by looking into his rear view mirror and read the reverse alphabets which appear perfectly normal in a mirror. Other than ambulance, we see letters written in reverse on school bus. Let's discuss. Let's see what the teacher has to say. Anil, Sudha. We can see ourselves in the mirror. That is our image. What is different about it? So Sudha replies, I have pinned my badge on my left, but it appears on the right in the image. Anil says, my image in the mirror is as far behind in the mirror as I am in front of it. So the distance of Anil is also same in the mirror. How closer he is to the mirror, that much close he appears in the mirror. Sudha says, teacher's pallu is on a left shoulder, but in the mirror it appears to be on a right shoulder. So the teacher finally says, we and our images are symmetrical with reference to the mirror. Let's learn reflectional symmetry. Write the English capital letters A, H, M in a large size on separate sheets of paper. Fold the paper so that the two parts fall exactly on each other. So see how A is written and you have to fold it in such a manner that the opposite parts of the alphabet A which are divided because of that line will fall exactly on each other. The two parts will fall exactly on each other. See H. Even the letter H the line is drawn dotted line in such a way that if you fold the paper against that dotted line then the other two parts will fall exactly on each other similar with m mark with dots the line which makes two equal parts of the figure this line is the axis of symmetry of the figure if a symmetrical figure gets divided by an axis in the figure into two parts which fall exactly on each other, its symmetry is called reflectional symmetry. Some figures have more than one axis of 
symmetry here you can fold h in a vertical manner or in a horizontal manner still the paths will fall exactly on each other that means h alphabet has got more than one axis of symmetry so this is called as reflectional symmetry the figures below are symmetrical you can see the axis of symmetry and to the left and right there is an image if you fold the paper on the axis of symmetry the image will fall exactly on each other so the first second and third figure shows symmetrical figures so let's move on to practice set 20 question 1 draw the axis of symmetry of each of the figures below which of them has more than one axis of symmetry that you have to answer so first let us draw the axis of symmetry the axis of symmetry of a figure divides the figure into two equal parts so you have to draw as many possible axis you can draw for the given figures so figure one you can see two axes of symmetry if you fold vertically it will fall exactly on each other and if you fold horizontally also the two paths will fall exactly on each other the second figure we have three axes of symmetry in a triangle then the third figure shows one axis of symmetry and the fourth figure we have how many count one two three and four four axes of symmetry so which figures have more than one axis of symmetry your answer is figure one two and four have more than one axis of symmetry so students you have to draw the figures Show the axis of symmetry and write the final answer as figures 1, 2 and 4 have more than one axis of symmetry. Question number 2. Write the capital letters of the English alphabet in your notebook. Try to draw their axis of symmetry. Which ones have an axis of symmetry? Which ones have more than one axis of symmetry? So there are two questions here so let's answer them first you're going to write alphabets a to z in capital letters then you're going to try drawing axis of symmetry for those alphabets which you cannot draw you will have to leave it so let's write a to z first and we start with a one axis b also has got one axis of symmetry c has got one axis d also one e has got one axis of symmetry f we cannot draw even g we cannot draw axis of symmetry because the two parts after folding exactly on the axis they will not fall on each other h has got two axis of symmetry i has got one j we cannot draw the axis of symmetry k has got one axis of symmetry l we cannot draw the axis of symmetry m one axis of symmetry n we cannot draw o has got two axis of symmetry all right p has got no axis of symmetry q has got no axis of symmetry even R and S do not have axis of symmetry. We cannot draw. T and U have got one axis of symmetry. V, W have got one. X has got two. Y has got one axis of symmetry. And Z we cannot draw because when you fold, they will not fall exactly on each other. So this way we have got certain alphabets, one axis of symmetry certain have more than one and some alphabets do not have axis of symmetry at all so let's write the answer alphabets having axis of symmetry a b c d e 
एच आई के एम ओ पी यू वी डब्ल्यू एक्स वाई नाउ लुक एट अल्फाबेट ओ ओ आई मैंशन अलियर टू एक्सेस बट मोर देन टू ऑल्सो यू कैन ड्रॉ बिकॉज यू विल सी दैट द ईच एंड एवरी एक्सेस दैट यू ड्रॉ थ्रू ओ द अदर टू पार्ट्स फॉल ऑन ईच अदर सो नेक्स्ट आंसर अल्फाबेट्स हैविंग मोर देन वन एक्सेस ऑफ सेमिट्री आर एच आई ओ एंड एक्स दीज आर द फोर अल्फाबेट्स फ्रॉम ए टू जेड विच हैव मोर देन वन एक्सेस ऑफ सेमिट्री ऑल राइट सो वी हैव आंसर्ड आ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू लेट्स गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री यूज कलर अ थ्रेड एंड अ फोल्डेड पेपर टू ड्रॉ सिमेट्रिकल शेप्स सो इन द एग्जाम्पल प्रीवियसली आई टोल्ड यू हाउ यू कैन फोल्ड अ पेपर एंड यूज कलर्स टू ड्रॉ सिमेट्रिकल शेप बट जस्ट प्रेसिंग ऑन इट नाउ सिमिलर एक्टिविटी इज आस्ट यर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री बट वी आर गोइंग टू डिप द थ्रेड इन कलर फर्स्ट एंड देन keep it on one side of the paper fold the paper and pull the thread slowly so that you get a symmetrical figure on both the sides so let's have a look at dance take a paper and a length of thread dip the thread in color place it on one side of the paper so you will have to fold the paper and open it and then place the thread only on one side of the paper now fold the paper over it keeping the folded paper pressed down pull out the thread by one of its ends and now you unfold the paper that is open it you will see a picture the shape on the other side of the line will be like the one on the first the picture that is formed is said to be symmetrical so this way you can complete your activity as well as question number 3 of practice set 20 Let's have a look at question number four, the last question. Observe various commonly seen objects such as trees, leaves, tree leaves, birds in flight, pictures of historical buildings, etc. Find symmetrical shapes among them and make a collection of them. So, what is your solution? some of the symmetrical objects seen in daily life are shown below tree leaf you will see that the leaf if you fold it on both the sides it has exactly similar pattern the veins birds in flight okay if you draw a straight line through the center you will see that the bird which is in flight mode has exactly symmetrical shape taj mahal the building the monument taj mahal if through its center you try to draw a line you will see it is symmetrical the other two sides are exactly the same and a bat so you can choose your own symmetrical figures and note down in your book so this way we have completed practice set 20 based on symmetry hope you have understood it do practice the sums well stay safe keep learning and thank you